Hey guys, I hope everyone is well. I wanted to take a few minutes and talk about knee replacement. You know, uh, we talk about it all the time. The demand is going up, people are younger, uh, they're recovering faster, but what is knee replacement, sometimes called knee arthroplasty? So what we're gonna talk about uh, just in the next minute or so is total knee replacement, and really a better term for total knee replacement may be knee resurfacing. Uh, let, let, let me show you why that's true. So there are four components. I want you to remember that as we go through this video. Four components of a knee replacement. There's a femoral portion, a tibial portion, there's a plastic liner between those two, and then there's a plastic button on the patella. So four parts. Two are metal and two are plastic. Let me show you. So first the femur part. So this is a model, of course, uh, of the knee. This is the femur or the thigh bone. This is the tibia or the shin bone. And you can see the knee replacement parts are in there. Notice the femoral part first. This is the, the thigh bone piece. It's shiny. It's shiny because it's cobalt chrome. It's made to be very smooth. And you can see it's rubbing up against the plastic. We'll get to that in a second. But, but the reason why knee resurfacing is a really good term for knee replacement is because, see, we're just resurfacing the end of the bone. See that? So many people think we're taking large chunks of bone out of the body and replacing it with large chunks of metal. It's not true. And in fact, I can remove this femur, if I'm real careful, I can remove this femur and you can see that those flat cuts on the femur allow for a resurfacing of the femur. So really the bone removed is minimal. Now let's look at the tibia portion. This is the leg bone. This is the bottom of the knee. We do the same thing. We remove the damaged bone, again, just a thin sliver, um, uh, about a centimeter or less, and we place a metal piece on top of the tibia just like that. Now, you can notice that this metal piece is gray. That represents that it's a different type of metal. It's a titanium alloy. And then you can see the plastic piece, which snaps down into the titanium piece. So once you've assembled that, you can see that the knee replacement is trying to prevent that bone on bone from arthritis. So if we look from the side, here's the thigh bone, here's the shin bone, and you have metal, plastic, and metal in between. Now, I mentioned that there were four parts. You can see that I'm kind of holding the kneecap out of the way. What we really do with knee replacement is we pull it out of the way. We actually turn it over, treat it like an Oreo cookie. And so when you touch the front part of your knee after knee replacement, by the way, that's your kneecap that you're feeling. But we turn it over like an Oreo cookie. We shave the back half of the patella uh, off. So we remove that portion of the bone and we resurface it with a plastic button. Then we're able to reduce or place the kneecap back in the center and you have a total knee replacement. No bone hitting bone, metal and plastic in between. Total knee replacement. If you have more questions, reach out. Have a great day.